Greetings, today we will be going over my favorite Easter eggs on Liberty Falls. Now, these eggs are in no particular order. I've just compiled a list of Easter eggs I think are either cool or fun to enjoy or fun to get to. Now, in Liberty Stalls, the first egg on our list out of order is the vending machine egg. There's these vending machines in the motel. If you melee it there, you can get essence and sometimes even a ray gun. Now, I just think that is so epic how you pretty much have a chance at becoming OP. Like honestly, right off the bat, if your luck, if luck is on your side. Now, next up on our list, we have the egg where the zombies fall from the sky. Now, I'm actually the first one to discover this but you don't actually need to throw a nade up there you can also hit the head with the ray gun and i say i'm the first to discover this because i haven't seen anybody talk about this in the community i've always seen people throw nades up there but yeah as you can see zombies loot and salvage will just start falling from the sky and i think this egg is just really nice because say you're mid-round and you're like out of ammo or just a few salvage off, all you gotta do is just throw that nade up there real quick or shoot the ray gun at the head and you'll get your salvage, your essence, and your equipment from the sky. Now next up on our list is actually the Aetherella egg. As you can see here, once you collected the five miniature statues of her, you can go around shooting lasers out of your eye sockets. I'm not even sure if this form, if this egg transformation has a time limit or not, but as you can see, it can eventually shred the abomination. And I've seen some people use it on the main quest of Liberty Falls to just essentially melt all the bosses. Now, our next egg isn't really necessarily an egg. It's just something really funny in the settings. You're able to have the vermin float around like flying fucked up looking worms with no legs if you just turn on arachnophobia mode in the settings. I think it's pretty sick how Treyarch added a feature for people who struggle with arachnophobia. Now I don't like spiders, but I wouldn't say I'm, ar I'm arachnophobic, but I know some people could appreciate that addition to their accessibility in the game. As you can see, their hitboxes seem to be the same. I was shooting the worm kind of off to the side where the legs would be, and I believe the shots were still hitting. Overall, like I said, it's not an egg, but it is like something we've never seen before, and I just think it's interesting. Now this next one needs no introduction. Once you shoot all the shoes, you will then be transported to a bowling zombies dance party in the middle of Liberty Lanes. As you can see here, there is a sick teddy bear shaking and grooving to greet you. There's manglers dancing. Everybody's having a good fun time. The zombies just forgot that they need to fill their insatiable hunger. But as you can see, you can throw a bowling ball and bowl to hit zombies. At first I thought you had to hit the pins, but you actually need to hit the zombies in order to get your score up and you can charge the bowling ball itself which I think is a great mechanic and after you're done bowling you pretty much will eventually receive a prize I believe if you get 300 you'll get really good loot but I believe you just get any kind of loot when you're done bowling and that's it for my favorite easter eggs on Liberty Falls Thank you so much for watching my video on Liberty Calls, and I will see you next time in the zombie slaying battlefront in Liberty Malls.